I have been farming now for 32 years. I started uh, way back when I was only 23 years old. I was an avid gardener and cook. A local restaurateur, Alice Waters, was an acquaintance of mine and she used to come in and raid that garden. She said to me one day that if I ever had any extra product to bring it to the restaurant, she would buy it. So I went about making that possible. When we moved uh, here in 1985 to start a restaurant garden for Wolfgang Puck, the food scene down here was completely undeveloped. You couldn't get good coffee, there was no good bread. It's caught up now and it, it's really kind of a leader, fortunately for us. The crops that we grow here at Kendrick Canyon Farms include all of the individual lettuces and salad plants. And then we grow every culinary herb that you can think of. All of these herbs that people can use in cooking, which include some really interesting regional Mexican herbs, which were introduced to us through our workforce. Some things that you wouldn't see unless you were from Mexico or traveling down there. This is my favorite little ranch. It's certified organic been growing here for about four years. These crops all are grown in very fast rotation, so we're planting basically every seven to 10 days. We come in with clippers and harvest it about this size. This is what I would call perfect. This has got good weight, good aroma, really nice organic rosemary. This is one of our propagation houses. We propagate the lettuce from seed and the herbs a lot from cuttings. A little herb farm like this, we have to do everything ourselves. We do our own planting, weeding, propagation, harvesting, and then we take it to our customers. This little lavender field is about 10 years old. So the first thing we planted when we moved onto this ranch was lavender. We love lavender. And we've got some hives we're starting back here, so we'll have lavender honey soon. This variety of lavender called Twickle is one of our very favorites. Uh, it comes in earlier, which is nice. You can be one of the first people to market with lavender. And it has a more pleasing color. It, this darkness doesn't come out in the other Provençal variety. This one is the French Provençal. It's a culinary variety. It tastes really good. And then this one's just more to look at. We started off, we sort of did everything. I was working really for just one restaurant. And over the years, we realized that we had to diversify. You kind of have to have a blend of opportunities to sell your product if you really want to make a living at this. I personally think that it's, it's incredibly useful and positive when big companies support organic farmers. Chipotle business is great. We expect to sell 20,000 pounds of oregano to them this year. They've really made a difference because they're buying American products and supporting small farms. Sustainable is one of those catch-all phrases that means different things to different people. To me, it means what it means to any business person, which means that all the parts that make the business a whole have to work as efficiently as possible. I think that it's partly because we grew the business from a small business where we were doing everything ourselves into a larger business and we were still doing everything ourselves. So to be vertically integrated was just kind of part of our thinking patterns. We knew how to handle the product and we knew how to wash the product and dry it, what it should look like in the end. And so we've done it all. We've just always been hands-on in every respect of the business. So Robert and I do this together and we've raised our kids up in it. Keeping it all together in the best possible way with an eye to the future.